All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys, um, well, actually, kind of explaining five mistakes that I made when I was a Roblox developer just starting out, okay? Um, I made a lot more mistakes than just five, but um, <laughs> I'm going to explain probably my biggest five, I'd say. All right, so I'm going to make this pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go with you all the five things I think that were my biggest, and um, I hope this helps you out. Like I said, there's a lot more things, but uh, this is what I recommend doing. Hopefully, you learn something from this. Don't make the same mistakes I did, right? There's no point. Um, learn from me. I'll save you some time, all right? So anyways, um, be sure to leave a like if this helps you out. Subscribe for more robust development videos, and let's just get started. All right, so first things first, do not make the game that you want to make, all right? Now, I know this may sound pretty weird, okay? <laughs> You're probably like, okay, why would you tell me not to make the game I want to make? It sounds weird. But basically, uh, um, you know, most people start, like, developing on Roblox um, or start learning how to script, right, or learning how to make a game because they had a cool idea for a game, right? And that's awesome. It's great that you have an idea, but you shouldn't make it right away, okay? And here's why. All right, so odds are your game idea is probably kind of complex, okay? So, um, like, it might be, you know, FPS or, like, some super intense adventure game or, you know, just something really hard to make, you know what I mean? And if you dive right into that game, you're probably going to have a bit of progress, but then you're just going to give right up because it's so difficult to make. And then what you're going to do is end up quitting game development altogether, all right? Now, that's not what you want to do, okay? Don't don't start with the biggest project you have in mind or, your, or your, you know, the game you want to make. If it's an hard, if it's a hard game, odds are if you're just starting, you probably won't be able to, you probably won't be able to make it, okay? So don't make try to make it and then get discouraged and then just give up on game development altogether, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, I would recommend just starting with something smaller, obviously, and a little bit easier um, that you think you're capable of, and then eventually, you know, you can go for that awesome idea that you have, um, but just don't dive into it right away, all right? Now, if you want to, you know, don't listen to me, do whatever you want, but I, this is what I recommend because I know a lot of people have quit just because they try to go right to their best game idea, you know what I mean, or they just give up right away. So, um, don't let it happen to you, and if, if you do go for that idea and you give up, or you end up not being able to do it, don't give up, just try something else, alright, that's what I mean by that, so yeah. Alright, anyways, uh, next, okay, so, that's a pretty big one though, for real, that's, that's a big one. Okay, so next is, you will get stuck on things, okay, so, I know this makes sound kind of weird, but like, okay, you will get stuck on things, so like, look, I used to get stuck a lot, alright? And I mean, like, a lot. Like, I would, I'm would, i making something, and I just get stuck, and I don't know what to do. I'm like, okay, I can't figure it out. I've tried this, I've tried this, I've tried this, and it still isn't working. What do I do, okay? Um, well, I, I've, I've invented a little formula here for you guys, so uh, I'll help you out with that. But um, don't feel bad, though. If this is happening to you, do not feel bad. This is very normal, okay? It happens to everyone. It happens to me all the time still. I get stuck a lot still, okay? Um, but I now I know what to do when I do get stuck, okay? Um, so, yeah, don't feel bad if this happens to you, and don't give up, okay? That, that's just what you should not do. All right, anyway, so here's what you do when you get stuck, or here's what I do at least, okay? So first things first, I Google my issue, okay? Um, I'll just figure out what my issue is. Um, also, normally it's like a scripting issue, by the way, so, um, you know, if it's not, then, you know, you can still use this, but just cut steps you out. Anyways, so, um, first things first, I Google my issue, okay? So, I'll Google what my issue is, and I'll see if anyone else has had the same problem, because odds are a lot of people are playing Roblox, a lot of people are developing on Roblox, uh, odds are someone else has had the same problem before, okay? And then, um, you'll normally find, like, a dev forum post, or, like, a, um like a like a scripting helpers post um, about it and then they'll respond on how to fix it right so then you read that and sometimes that can actually fix it all right now that now that's best case scenario um, that does happen pretty often though I'm not gonna lie um, but um, that's how I, that's the first step okay second step is just reread your code okay so if it's a programming issue just reread your code I know this may sound weird because you just typed it but just read it again okay and actually read it okay pause your music pause whatever you have planned and just read it and comprehend every single word okay and every Oh yeah, every line, okay? Because that's gonna help you figure stuff out. Sometimes you'll you realize you did something wrong, or you did this, you did that, you know what I mean? So just reread it, okay? Um, three, ask for help, okay? If, if, if you Googled it, you reread it, you still can't figure it out, ask for help, okay? People are there to help you. Uh, you have the dev form made by Roblox themselves, or you have, you know, awesome, like, cool Discord communities about Roblox development. You can go there, ask for help. Um, there's a lot of Discord servers you can do that. Um, I have one actually called Road Devs, and um, as you can see here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. We have two channels here called Scripting Helpers, which are for people to just get some help with scripting, okay? We have two channels for that. So go in there and ask for help. As you can see, people are typing that right now, okay? So it's super active. People will help you uh, if you ask, you know, nicely. All right, anyways, so also if you want if you want to join the Discord server, link to that is in the description below. So uh, yeah, go ahead and join that. It's called Road Devs. All right, anyways, so um, step four, and if you still can't figure it out after asking for help, just try again tomorrow, all right? Take a break because 
I mean, okay, you don't have to take a break, but I would recommend this because you might go insane if you just you know keep at it for like hours and hours and still not figure it out. I would just take a break. This helps me out because what happens when you come back to it like the next day with a fresh mind, you know what I mean? And you're, you know, you, I don't know how to explain it, but it just it works for me. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. So um, yeah. And also, if this if this all doesn't work and you still can't figure it out, then you're probably trying to do something that's way too hard, and you probably should you know like I said, start with an easier project. All right. Um, but yeah. Um, most of the time, you should be able to figure everything out. You should be able to figure figure everything out with this, though. So yeah, but just don't give up. All right, never, just don't ever quit. If that makes any sense. All right, yeah. Anyways, all right. So next mistake. This is this is a big one too, man. This is a very big one. All right. Um, this one. Do not be afraid to use free models. All right. Now this may sound kind of weird. All right. You're like, what do you mean free models? How could you? Okay. <laughs> but seriously, like, here's what I mean by this. Okay. Like, a lot of people will say, oh, free models are bad, or, oh, your game is free models, oh, your game is bad, or this and that and this, and free models, free models, free models, okay? Now, they may be right, all right? If your game is entirely made of free models, that is something to be aware of and something that doesn't seem very appealing, but it's not the worst thing ever, okay? Um, and if you're just starting out, there's no shame using free models, right? If you're just starting out, do not do not feel bad at all, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you two examples of when you can use them, okay? So if you're having an issue with the script, all right, for example, let's say you're a coder, and um, you're trying to make a gun or something like that, right, like a working gun, all right, and you can't figure out how to get started, you don't know what to do, um, you're just kind of stuck, right? What you can do is you can Google, or not Google, sorry, go in the toolbox and search up gun, and then you can look in the code and see what they're doing, right? So you can just kind of reverse engineer the gun and figure out how you can do that with your own gun, right? I'm not saying you should use that free modeled gun, but you can read the code, you can even edit it if you want to, um, or you can just write it whole from scratch. Normally, I would write it from scratch, but like that's what, something you can do, you know what I mean? You don't have to feel bad using free models. You can learn from free models very easily. Sometimes you can even use them to in your own game if you adjust them a little bit, right? Um, that definitely works, okay? So if you're having a scripting issue, that's something you can use it for. Now, if you're like a builder or something and you need something for your map, right? And you need like something for your place, what you can do is, let's say you need like a certain tree or something, right? Um, if you want that tree, but you don't want to go, go make that entire tree and do all this stuff, now, maybe you should because it's good to put the work in and, you know, have original stuff, but if you just need a tree, sometimes it's okay to look inside of the toolbox, search up tree, and see if there's any tree that fits with your map, right? Now, make sure that the free model you're using fits with your game, okay? If it doesn't match, it looks like it's out of place, it looks like a free model, then yeah, that's probably an issue, but if it matches with your game, I don't see an issue in using personally, okay? Now, beware though, because when you are doing free models, sometimes they will have viruses in it, which basically can like infect your game, and what'll happen is like um, certain exploiters will be able to exploit your game um, for, through server scripts. So just make sure that if you are using free models, you look inside of the script, or you look inside of the free model and see if there's a script in there, okay? If you have a tree and there's a script inside of your tree, then delete the script, okay? That, there's an issue with the tree, obviously. So just delete the script out of any, um, you know, builds, and it, you know, if it's, if it's a scripting issue, then obviously you're reading the script anyways, so, yeah. So, yeah, beware of free models, or be, beware of viruses, is all I'm gonna say, but free models aren't, like, the worst thing ever, okay? That's what I mean. All right, next. All right, so this is a big one, too, okay? <laughs> Think about the long term, okay? Now, this is a pretty simple, like, uh, way to correct, like, a pretty, pretty simple mistake to fix, but Think about the long term, okay? When you're making a game and um, you're working on it today, you think, oh, you're going to be done in a week or whatever, or what, whatever. It doesn't matter when you think it'll be done. But basically, um, sometimes you'll just get to work and you're really excited. So you start doing this, so you start doing stuff like very, very fast, right? And uh, what will happen is you won't organize anything, okay? You won't think about your future self, okay? Because, you know, just think about it like this, okay? You working on your game right now, the future you has to work on it a week from now, okay? So what I mean by this is if you organize stuff super badly, you don't, like, comment your code at all, you don't, like, your code is very nasty, your variables are, are named very bad, everything's just really bad, right? Like, for example, right here, like, let's look, look at this workspace right here, okay? As you can see, it's just a bunch of stuff in it. Dummy, model, 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 dummy, all this stuff. Look at this one. It has entities, campaign, global, developers, and then it has everything in here, right? It's all organized. Very, very easy to see, right? It looks very nice to the eye, and this is, this is a bit extreme, to be honest with you. This guy has a lot of organization. I would recommend this much, but it's 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 your preference, right? Whatever you want to do, but um, just don't have it like this, okay? Because when you come back to it a week later, you're going to be super lost and super confused. Even a day later, sometimes, you'll be super confused, okay? Just trust me. Organize your stuff. Just think about your future self, okay? Think about the long term, okay? Not just the short term, uh, if that makes sense. So yeah, pretty simple, but also very important. 
Okay, next one is um, work with other people, okay? Now, this may not be a mistake for you, but it definitely was a mistake for me. Um, when I first started developing, guys, I would, like, try to do everything on my own. I mean, like, from the building, scripting, UI design, 3D modeling, everything, literally, I try to do myself, right? And the reason why I was an issue was because I wasn't good at these things, okay? And also, like, I was trying to learn everything at the same time, so it was pretty difficult and time-consuming, but, you know, um, it's just... It, there was no point in me trying to do everything myself because not only was I not good at it, but I also wasted a lot of time trying to learn and then do something I'm not good at, which I ended up not even using. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have the money to hire people, right, for like UI design or whatever it is, then you can always give them the percentage, right? Um, but all I'm trying to say with this one is like just be open to working with people, okay? If someone, you know, is offering to work with you, not not saying you should, you know, work with anyone who comes your way, but, you know, consider it, all right? Don't, don't think that, you, you know you're the best developer in the world and no one can do anything else as good as you. And you know what I mean? Like some people will put the work in like you will, if that makes any sense. I, I, I'm sorry if this is confusing, but all I'm going to say, yeah, is just be open to working with people, okay? You don't have to work with anyone. If you want to be a solo dev, that's completely fine, completely fine. Um, but I'm just saying be open to it, okay? Just consider it at least. So, yeah. All right, anyways, so also um, I'm making a video on how to actually meet other robust developers pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's going to be pretty cool. All right, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are my five biggest mistakes. Um, I'm sure a lot of you can probably relate to them, honestly. Um, if you just started developing, then you're welcome because I saved you a lot of time if you listen to what I said. Um, so definitely listen to me. It's going to save you a lot of time, okay? Trust me. Also, be sure to leave a like if it's helped you out, if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more Roblox development-related uh, videos, all right? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, and peace.